hi ladies welcome to my channel my name is yasser if you're new here if you're not new then welcome back it's nice to see you again today i'm showing you how i do this elegant easy tuck and roll hairstyle or natural hair i hope you enjoy the video as you can see i am starting out on hair that is blow dried i did share my video on how i wash and take care of my hair weekly or sometimes bi-weekly depending on how lazy i'm feeling i'm going to leave that link down below if you want to see my hair care routine so as you can see actually uh, as to mention i'm going to share how i blow dry my hair um pretty soon hopefully next week i think but don't take my word for it <laughs> but i'll try my best to upload it next week or the week after for sure so i am starting by sectioning off my hair into two uh, boxes or you know two sections the top and the back and I'm going to pull the back into a bun as I am doing right now I got this uh, white tooth comb actually I bought it when I was in Nairobi because when I went to Nairobi I didn't take my white tooth comb so I bought it from a store called the best lady it's on Moy Avenue and I know they have another one close to Afia Center the Afia Center in town so that's where I bought it from. I am using Shine and Jam Gel. I like using it because it adds a really nice sheen to my hair. And I, it also, of course, acts as an age control or a gel without being flaky or anything like that. So I love using it. I like these hair ties. They are from Goody. I'm going to try and leave them linked down below uh, on Amazon so you can get them from there. If you live in Canada, they are available at London Drugs. They're really nice and they, they don't snatch your hair. So I really like using them. Obviously, I lose them, so I end up buying them almost all the time. <laughs> and they come in a pack, I think, of 8 or 10. So definitely worth it. So for the top, I was really trying to figure out what to do. You guys already know, like if you're not new here, I'm always basically just trying to do different things to see if they look cute or not. <laughs> and I really appreciate your supportive comments. Uh, I know someone was like, oh, it's nice that you show us how you make mistakes and everything. I'm just like, girl, I'm always just trying. And if it turns cute, it's cute. If it doesn't, then, you know, it doesn't work. And that's okay as well. And I think at the end of the day, <laughs> Even if it doesn't turn out how I had envisioned in my head, it's always a hairstyle. And I feel like I always try to do something that flatters my face. So it will still look cute. So if you're doing this, please do it in a way that flatters your face. It doesn't have to look exactly like mine, but just do whatever you have, like with the length of your hair or with whatever you're working with. Make it work, look cute. And that's all that matters. That's why I upload these videos for you to feel good about your natural hair and yourself and for you to just put in that extra effort to look good today and hopefully it's going to make you feel better as well. As you can see, I am pulling the ends and wrapping it around my little ponytail. Yes, I'm calling it a ponytail. <laughs> If your hair is not as long as mine, then you can just pin it under the last roll. As you can see how I'm pinning this one, I'm not taking it all the way to the ponytail. I'm just pinning it there on the side. All you have to do is just make sure you hide the ends so that they're not poking out. So if your hair is shorter than mine, you'll probably have to do that for all your rolls. Okay, so now moving back to the back section because we still need to work on that as well. I'm just going to do the little sort of like flower little band that I call, or I call it that. If you're not new to my channel, then you're familiar with that little band already. I thought it would look cute with the way, you know, the way the hair looks at the front. If you want, you can do, you know, any style of band that you want. If you have a donut band, I think that would actually look cute as well with this. So I'm basically just dividing it into four sections and then I'm doing like a little tight uh, twist at the top and then I'm just going to fold it and tuck it. You should definitely invest in styling pins if you like doing uh, updos like I do. <laughs> I know I always say this all the time but I really like using them compared to bobby pins and they're so easy to put in and put out and 
it's a good investment and they're not expensive i think they cost probably the same or um, probably just two dollars more than bobby pins i'll leave a link for them on amazon if you want to check them out but that's what it looks like and then now i'm just going to roll the little ends and then tuck them in by the way ladies thank you for such amazing comments that you leave behind oh my god i'm telling you when a girl is not feeling good it feels so nice to read a nice comment and sometimes when i forget why i upload you videos i mean it makes me feel good to do my hair but i don't have to upload videos and so just seeing comments of you ladies saying how this is just giving you ideas or motivating you to style your hair ah oh, truly truly uplifting i think i'll start sharing some of those comments because honestly i really appreciate appreciate those comments I, I just finished reading comments so i'm feeling a little you know touched and emotional right now that's you know but anyways ladies thank you so much i really really appreciate you the earrings i'm wearing are from cultural mashup i'll leave it linked down below if you want to check out some afro inspired earrings that's it for the video ladies i hope you enjoyed it if you did leave a comment down below and also thumbs up the video i will see you on wednesday have a lovely lovely weekend bye ladies bye <laughs>